So who would like to fly a helicopter like the T-1000 under the bridge in Terminator 2? Sort of, I don't know, just like this. If you're looking for those skills, this is not the video. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I've gotten pretty good at this helicopter, guys. I'm gonna show you the tutorial. A lot of folks are leaving. Uh, by the way, you can go in the cockpit and open the windows, slide them back and forth. It's cool, just like I'm showing you right now. Kind of cool little option. I'm sure there's more options. I'm no expert at this helicopter. I wanna be clear about that, but I'm pretty good at it. And a lot of folks are saying they're just spinning off. I haven't had that problem. But I can tell you that this helicopter is more difficult than anything in the game to fly by far, in particular landing. I'm gonna land it in this video. It's a decent landing, but I probably shattered a few teeth. I don't know, that's not for sure. But uh, I have a lot of inquiries that people are just spinning off. So here's how I take off. I have auto start on all my helicopters and uh, and uh, planes by with the right bumper and the left, uh, left uh, directional stick. So that starts it automatically. I don't go through like the whole thing to start off aircraft or uh, helicopters. But in terms of taking off, you're just going to push the gas just like you would accelerating in a jet or a plane, any type of thing like that. You're going to push it until it lifts off by itself. That's the thing. Don't press anything else. There you go. See, I'm gently increasing my throttle. And now you'll see me spin. I'm using the rudders, which are the trigger buttons for me, RT and LT just like I would do in a plane with the uh, vertical stabs to, to, do, to do that. Then I just press, I press the gas a little bit more and I lean the aircraft forward, not right or left. That's how a, a helicopter goes straight. I'm not telling you anything you probably don't know, but for a helicopter to accelerate and go forward, you have to dip it so that instead of going up, it goes forward with that thrust. So as you can see, I've got it pretty level. It's not easy, guys. I gotta be honest, this is not easy. Um, but it's also rewarding and challenging. Because some of the stuff, you know, anybody could fly the jets most likely, and I find this fun. I think some folks would like it a lot easier, and I get it, but this is fun. I am gonna fly under the Coronado Bridge coming up, as you can see it to the right. But I'm just maintaining speed right now. I'm not pressing anything but a light forward, but I'm also not going right or left. Now, if you wanna go right, you have to do it slightly, guys. I've almost spun out a lot of times. As you can see, I'm just tilting the plane barely and also continuing to press forward. But I'm like managing that on a on a second by second basis. If you let go of that stick, it will mess up. So as you can see, this is I'm achieving a level flight. This is what the beautiful helicopter can do. And it's really fun, guys, when you can do it. And there's a lot of things you can do. I mean, yeah, we're gonna get the Harrier and we have the F-35B, which can hover, which are awesome. I get it, but the helicopter is also cool too. And uh, as you'll see, I'm gonna go under the Coronado Bridge here, and uh, I'll let you listen to it a little bit and let you see how steady the flight is. So that was pretty darn cool in my opinion, guys. As you see, I picked the highest bridge that I know of in the game. I think that's the highest one. That's the Coronado Bridge with the Navy SEALs train outside of San Diego. It's an island. Most of you probably know that. But go to San Diego and you'll see this big bridge for you to practice under. It's got a lot of clearance. Uh, to do a lower bridge, I look forward to trying it, but it's not easy, guys. So as you can see how I'm turning, right? It's a light turn with my left thumb on the joystick. I, I, play, with a, uh, I play with a controller a standard Xbox Series X controller, okay? So I'm controlling the camera and everything with that only. As you can see, it's, I mean, this is beautiful, steady flight right by the Coronado Bridge. I love it, man, look at that. It's hard to beat that type of thing with the helicopter. Not a lot of planes can do that. If we're in an F-16, we're gonna go like at least 200, 300 miles or it'll stall out, right? So this is an awesome addition, guys, a lot of fun, and it's, it's it's easier to now i don't know why people are spinning out i can't speak to that i really want to help everybody because i want everybody to have fun with the helicopter okay that's why i'm making this so let's go in for the landing landings are really really tough this landing is not perfect at all i have landed on ships but it is it's really hard guys i gotta be honest it's it's 
landing's hard. You have to. It's like an art form by managing little plus fo- little like additions to the throttle and then subtractions, additions that like I still haven't mastered it to try to float in as soft as possible. And then if you don't cut it off, it's right when it hits the ground, you'll go right back up. You'll bounce like you're, I don't know, gonna get a DUI, you've been drinking like a six pack that night. You're just gonna hop like a bunny. You look absolutely like an idiot and you wanna avoid that. So uh, I'm gonna slam down on the ground sort of here. I tried to get the best, I'm again, I'm not an expert at this, but right here I'm kind of managing where I want to be because also you got to cut the throttle to, like landing out here, that's one thing, that's a big place, big real estate. To land on like a helicopter pad, that's not easy, guys. I'm not, there's a reason why I'm doing it here. I mean, I just, you can look at my other uh, other video, I landed on a battleship, but as you can see, I'm ba- barely, barely decreasing throttle here trying to pick a landing spot barely decreasing and then you're gonna decrease so right here I'm feeling good feeling good and as you can see it's a little hard bam so that's a hard landing nobody would have gotten injured in real life but that's not an ideal landing but anyways I hope this video helps to a certain extent guys to take off just increase slightly until it lifts off and then start controlling it with your left thumb on the joystick if you, on the controller if that's what you have i hope this video helps guys i know it's not easy to fly leave comments in the below below and i'll answer anything i can to help you guys i want everybody to have a great time flying this helicopter hope this made sense make it a great flying day later